of Fishmonger Approved. Today we're smoking a sockeye salmon. Later on we're going to take the salmon and make it into a nice appetizer. So last night what I did was I put a, a dry brine rub on salmon. It's basically a mixture of uh, sea salt, some brown sugar, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of um, garlic powder, and some cumin. I went and put a nice uh, thick crust of that on top of the, the salmon and let it sit in the refrigerator wrapped up in the, uh, the paper that the salmon came in overnight. And the purpose of that is what it's done is it's uh, drawn some of the moisture out of the fish. So it, it starts the, uh, the drying process and the curing process before we smoke it. So now that it's sat overnight, um, probably about, I'd say I did it around uh, 6 o'clock last night. So it's been about 14 hours now. What I want to do is rinse this off. Gonna take the salmon and the paper. Just give it a good rinse because you want to get all that salt off before you cook it. Okay. I can feel that it's already started to get a little bit uh, stiff. Let's see a little bit more salt. In there. Use cold water when you're doing this. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and let it dry now for about two hours in the refrigerator. Just pat it dry a little bit before you put it in the refrigerator with some more paper towel. Okay, and we're going to go and just set that in the refrigerator for two hours and we'll be back. <laughs> sitting in the refrigerator drying for two hours and it looks like it's ready. It's got a nice little uh, sheen started on the top of it. You can see that. Uh, I want to go ahead and spray the bottom with a, a little bit of a um, <clears throat> canola cooking spray because I don't want it to, to stick to the grates. So we'll go ahead and give it a little coat of cooking spray on the skin. And then we'll take it out to our smoker and begin smoking. So we're at the Davy Crockett pellet smoker. Today we're using alder wood to smoke our salmon. We'll go ahead and place the salmon in the middle of the rack right in the center of the smoker. I've set my profile to smoke at 180 degrees for two hours. Then it's gonna bump it up to 220 for another two hours. And then it's gonna bring it back down to just keep it warm. So we'll go ahead and start our profile. Confirm. And away we go. So it's been four hours. We're going to go ahead and check our salmon, see if it's done. Oh, looks great. Let's pull it off. Oh yeah, looks looks great. It's got a nice firm texture. It's still got a little bit of a moisture content in it. You can see it's glistening there some. So what I want to do now is take it in the kitchen and cover it loosely with aluminum foil and let it rest for at least a half an hour before we start preparing our appetizers. So welcome to my garden. We're gonna go out back and grab a key lime and some chives for our recipe. So we're getting ready. 
ready to make our spiced cream cheese spread. We let the uh, cream cheese sit out on the counter for, uh, I'd say maybe about an hour to soften it up. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, um, you don't have to mix everything entirely, you know, like you would in a food processor, but you wanna get it, you know, the spices in there to uh, an even consistency. So what I've got here is about a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a half a teaspoon of black lava salt, um, half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'll just go ahead and mix that on the top there. I've also got a uh, my key lime, one key lime, and that's probably about a uh, full tablespoon there. I've got a heaping teaspoon of fresh dill. And I also have about a heaping teaspoon of uh, fresh chives. So we'll go ahead and mix this up. So the black lava salt will give it a little bit of a grayish tint. Uh, I love the flavor of it. It's got a, uh, a specific, it's a distinct smokiness to it. But if you don't, you know, if you don't like the, the color of it, then go ahead and just use a, uh, a regular sea salt. Just very, you know, like I said, half teaspoon is all you need. So we're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna uh, prepare the baguettes. And we're gonna cut them up into um, uh, about maybe a quarter inch slices and then we're gonna put them in the toaster and then we're gonna go ahead and prepare our fish. doing is I'm basically pulling the salmon for the crostinis. Got some nice pieces here. I'm going to uh, take, I've got a little bit of bone here, so always look for bone throughout your, your fish. Just a little bit here. The fish is looking very, it looks beautiful. It's still nice and moist in the middle. You have a little bit of a, uh, a crust on the top of it, so I'm going to pull that to the side. And then just go ahead and start pulling it off with your fork and always check for any uh, bones that may be stray because the fishmonger that filleted this, they usually they'll take tweezers and pull. You'll have a, a bone that runs down the middle of it and he did a pretty good job, but you always want to double check anyway, just in case there's a stray bone. So the, the top of the salmon may, may be a little bit more salty due to the uh, the dry brine. Even though we rinsed it off, it still has a, a little bit of a saltiness to it. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling the, the top pieces off and I'm using more of the center for the crostini because again, your cream cheese has got the, uh, the black lava salt in it as well. So just to keep the salt content down, we're gonna go ahead and separate the top from the, the middle sections. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my crostinis. So the crostinis are golden brown, and we're getting ready to put our cream cheese mixture on top of them. I'll just go ahead and add a little bit to each one. I'm gonna add some uh, red onion. couple of capers. Now we'll add our salmon to the top. Garnish with a couple of fresh key lime slices. So we're going to take this outside into our garden and we're going to enjoy our appetizers. Come on, Rachel. Fish 
Fishmonger approved. Keeps barking. What? No, I don't do snakes. Ah! I don't know what's around anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, do this quick. Get rid of the snake. Now we can go quick. <laughs> Later on, we're going to take the salmon and prepare a caper and lemon dish. No. <laughs> what are we doing with it? <laughs> we're going to prepare later on with a caper and dill dish. Why is that so hard to say? Later on today, we're going to take the salmon and turn it into a wonderful caper le lemon dill. <laughs> <laughs> Get quiet! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Caper lemon dill. Dill lemon caper. Dill. Salmon. Salmon. Caper and dill relish. Dill. No. <laughs> dill. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing with this thing. Capers, Tell you what, just say and salmon and dill appetizer. Very appetizing. Salmon and caper appetizer. We're gonna make a salmon appetizer. Yeah. Okay. That's